Hello everyone, Sess right here with more Final Fantasy Dimensions. Sorry about there being no Final Fantasy XI or Final Fantasy XIV this weekend, but it was good just to get to sleep in for once. That said, uh, here we are outside of Fulgur Bard Castle. Uh, if you recall last time we went in and found a Moogle. Well, two Moogles really. And it seems to be in ruins. Since the Empire uh, gave it a nice beating. So let's uh, explore the castle now and see what's going on here. A ghost down here. Ah! So the great hero of Valgabad has returned at last. Shall I shine your army, or, uh, army armor, oh mighty one? You know, actually, I'm not going to go exploring down here yet. Always were the lucky ones, Sigurd. How convenient that you were headed to the Empire right as they attacked! Let's explore up here first. What did this guy say? Fogabad took upon itself to guard Mount Golgum intruders. That duty cost us our very lives. Curse Avalon in their wicked ways. Alright. So if you call, the Moogle was in here with this heel pot. And then up here, you can't get through. The door is locked. That's interesting. Okay. What is near? Do my eyes deceive me? Graham. Wait. Sigurd? Actually, let's go explore that. Uh... No, nope, nothing there. So here we go. What is in this room? Ah yes, this was like the inn. Well, not inn, but uh, just like a room and I had that cutscene with uh, Graham. Ungrateful dwarves, but we should need to mount gold to make weapons. Should have just left those bearded buffoons to their own devices. Oh, well, come on now. Your actions did in fact save their lives. Sigurd's words were laced with honey, but the end result was not but vinegar. That's unfortunate. So the throne room doesn't seem to have much in it. Nobody seems concerned that there's ghosts walking around either, so you know there's that. Hello. Well, well, look what the cat dragged in. You'd better not be referring to us, common filth. Filth, you say? Come on now, boys! We're all just here for the treasure. First unintelligible dwarves, now blubbering ruffians. I can't get no relief. That's enough out of you, girl. Be gone, scum! Hey, you have to fight them, cool. Bandits. Okay, you're gonna miss, that's fine. So, oh, it turns out I did in fact miss a, uh... A, um, summon. Now, there's a possibility I'll be able to go back and get it, but, uh... I wanted to, I decided to look up the earlier chapters I had already done, and it turns out there was a summon that I missed. Fortunately, I managed to avoid spoiling the rest of the game for me. Discretion is the better part of valor! Retreat! Alright. So before we follow them... There's more rooms down here we can go check out. Ah, so they're the ones that took that treasure chest. Makes sense. Okay.
Damn you to damn you to straight to hell, Sigurd. I'll never find rest until you pay for your crimes. What's the matter, Sigurd? Regretting abandoning Graham like you did your country? So Sigurd is he our Dark Knight and did he take on the name of Graham? Sigurd's not the monster some claim him to be, just in the right place at the right time. But he did leave behind an only son. Darned if I can remember his name. <laughs> I don't know, I have no reason to use a tent right now, as the magic pot is upstairs. So we'll save down here. Does this mean there's a boss fight coming up? Let's explore and search these crates. I got an ether. Haha. You may have gotten us once, but this time we're serious. You're out of luck, Scabs. Everything in this room is ours for the taking. Dundolf will make you regret crossing us. Right. These brats are the ones that sent you Skarhain back with your tails between your legs. Falgabad is too proud a land to be home to the likes of you. Okay. Alright, Sylph, do your magic. It's one down. Thwack. Oh, fuck your thwack. Stop hitting my Dark Knight. Stop stunning my warrior. <laughs> Fucker. <laughs> That's not good. Seems like every boss in this game uses thwack. You guys get that impression too, or is that just me? Lovely. Alright. Got a lot of health, though. Jeez. Y 
you can have this whole rotting place if you want it. We're out of here. B boss, don't leave us. Well, they were clever enough to find a hidden passage. Now, what could this lead to? Mount Gog. Time to go. Okay. Hey, we got three job points. Cool. Which means job. Juba. Max level up. Oh, you're very close. Not. Okay. And we'll throw one into summoner. There we go. And one into white. Okay, and. Okay, there we go. Let's get our treasure chest. What do we got here? Anything good? A barblet. Let me get for Scylla or Juba. Just, just a carbs? Just a car? I don't know what a just car is, so let's find out. Thief, Ranger, Red Maid, Bard, Monk. Where actually can't use it. Okay, so let's give that to Paka. Cool. Let's give the bar butt to Juba. There we go. Problem solves. We get an next potion. But before we leave this area, let's go up to the Moogle and get free healing. Everybody likes free healing, right? Alright. Onwards and downwards. This castle really did take a beating, though. Alright, now we should just beat a boss, got some job points, save our game. There you go. Yeah, let's use our secret passage. This leads to Mount Gold, apparently. And there's monsters here. Of course there are. Toxify? Where is that? And somehow you ended up poisoned. Alright. And confused. Always confused. Looks like I'm just gonna have to find a uh, accessory that protects against confusion in this game because like every every monster seems to confuse. It's annoying as shit. Bad is heavy in Final Fantasy XIV. Anybody who's walked around in one of the Beast Tribe areas in FF14 knows how annoying heavy is. A high potion. Excellent. Soul of Hate. I think these things were in one of the treasure chests, aren't they? I knew they had to have something that was somewhat dangerous. Yep, underneath Fulgur Bard. 
Hello, Shahali. Alright, let's see here. A tent. I like tents. Devilfish and Anemones. Okay. It's rather large Ainman or Anemon. Back at work? That's okay. Me too, kinda, in a few hours. Are you still alive? There. I win. <laughs> An ice bow. I'd give that to my thief, but I don't think things here are weak against ice. They're probably strong against ice. Except maybe the rat. The rat might be weak to ice. Let's find out. The rat is fire, so, you know, there's that. Yeah, Graham, go to sleep. What were you thinking, trying to be awake? this passage leading us though. It's supposed to lead us to Mount Gog, but it's kind of weird how it's taking us through a sewer to get to the volcano. I don't like the name Deathstalker, that just sounds like that is gonna happen. I like countering the rats. It's funny. Yeah, I think uh, Sylph was changed on purpose just so you didn't have to bring a white mage if you didn't uh, want to. Except self takes 12 MP, so it's a little sparing. It's still, a white mage is still superior in my opinion. Or you could at least have a backup here. Did you seriously just confuse me and poison me in the same round? That's ridiculous. the monsters down here, they're red. And numerous, apparently. And they cast 
Oops, I did not want to attack with that character, damn it. And these ones like to cast slow on me. Yeah. There we go. Hey look, another save point. Alright, let's use that. Might as well restore our MP. Oh, okay. Well, sucks for you guys. Of course you cast slime on my white mage, why wouldn't you? Chris. Well, since we're already using our dagger pack, oh, let's see. This is. Uh, gives you some more int, some more mind, and some more attack. Why the hell not? Ow! D don't let us die like this! Okay, so these all say the same thing. Okay, apparently I'm gonna get into a fight here. Well, it's hard to decide which one of these are more dangerous. We'll go with the Death Scorpion. Or Death Stalker. And dead. Alright. No time for you to die. There we go. Alright. Talk to this dude. Crash thieves, you'll get your due. Those invading Imperial lands will be met with utmost force. Another pack of opportunists fancying themselves thieves, eh? Too bad the punishment for trespassing is death. Lancer, Commander. Alright. I can do this. Shell. Okay. Oh, that's unfortunate. I don't want to use that. All headgear. Hey, right, no better than nothing, I suppose. Seriously, he used swing too, huh? Failed to steal. Okay, well that means he has something at least. Ouch! Even with protect on, uh, Gramta just took a heavy hit. Failed to 
steel. This feels like I have nine all over again. Mithril armor. Well, that's not all that useful, given that I already have a set, but hey, you go, now I have something to sell. Actually. Damn. Worth a shot. I dare say that guy was easier than the thief boss. I don't know why he uh, was able to beat the thief boss. Probably just because we weakened him. We all leveled up. We've got no time to be playing tiddlywinks with the Empire. Move up, boys! What the hell are tiddlywinks? Actually, you know what? I know the answer to that. Never mind. I think I just healed the devil shit fish. No, oh, okay, Juba. That's fine. Okay, good night, Juba. Yeah, you eat that zero damage. <laughs> Alright. It's over here. Oh. Well, that's easy. So north of us is the Black Chocobo, or not the Black Chocobo, this is the uh, Mount Gold it looks like. But this, here. Bandersnatch and Bloodfangs. I remember Bloodfangs. I think it was the first Bandersnatch I fought, though. You learned the summoning spell, Chocobo! Yeah, finally a different just summoning spell. Awesome. Okay. And there's a black Chocobo, there's no white Chocobo here? Okay. You catch a Chocobo! Black Chocobos can fly, but they cannot cross mountains or oceans and can only land in forests. Well, that's great, though. So, where the hell can I bring this black Chocobo then? Down here, it seems. Aha! That's worthwhile. There's some place I want to also want to check though before I do it. 
Okay, so this is considered an ocean, I guess. Alright, so that's literally the only place I can bring it. Alright. So we're gonna take a short detour from the story here and come to this cave. So, that said, I'm gonna reset my recording here.